All right, welcome back to another Sims information video, and we finally have those leaks actually being confirmed by the Sims team. We're also gonna get into the fact that the Urban Homage now has a little bit of controversy, but it's okay because the creator that collabed with the Sims is shutting that down. We're also gonna get into some very speculation that everybody's talking about, and the Sims Direct actually coming out with some new patch notes. We're also gonna get into EA Play raising their subscription prices. And if you don't know me, what is up guys? My name's the Sim Yen, and my name is Yen, I play the Sims. Did you see what I did there? And and if you don't know this channel, I do a lot of sim information videos as well as CC and mod reviews and pack reviews as well. If there's something that you guys want me to cover, you can always leave that down below the description box. And I thank you for joining me. And for those who are already subscribed, welcome back. Let's get into the very first topic. And that is, of course, The Sims confirming that we are now getting two new kits. And of course, we have the Party's Essentials kit and the Urbage Homage kit. Now, we're going to go into detail into both and my thoughts and opinions in a little bit. So let's start off with the Urban Homage kit. Again, um, um, Ebonics actually said who is actually collabing with the Sims stated that when she came up with this she was paying homage to the 80s 90s and 2000s it's inspired by urban chic culture which highlights the innovation of diversity and vibrancy that city life fosters which she very much embraces as a part of her day-to-day -day wear and they actually came out with the all the creative that we're going to be getting and I am happy that we are getting a lot of more representation and diversity when it comes down to creative sim and I feel like Ebonics was the perfect person to collab with now as far as the party's essentials kit i think this is absolutely horrible i think like i said it's early 2005 and this just looks i i yeah y'all 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 i'm gonna get it because of course i want to do a review for you guys but i am not interested in this at all whatsoever i mean this like literally look at oh my gosh this looks so terrible anyway they did end up mentioning saying that you know there it's all about festives and dazzle and delight with playful party props including eye-catching streamers on enchanting fog machines and a versatile bar again there's many more in the description that the sims had left but y'all I am just not feeling it someone ended up even mentioning how low the poly is in that some of that footage so again y'all let me know down below how y'all feel about that and also my bad about saying again I know a lot of you guys are getting frustrated with that and I'm gonna try and stop we are gonna get into a couple simmers tweets with saying okay but like can we get gameplay kits or something it's been ages and I completely agree like I'm ready for a gameplay kit and someone actually even said no more kits or stuff packs I will pay to have lots to build on not dressing up a sim someone else said the hair wraps the braids the patch work jeans also the confetti on the floor the new clutter the balloons with lights i absolutely love and i agree i think it's a really cool for diversity and someone said congratulations to ebonic she's been working for years which she has been now i did end up tweeting out saying the party's essentials looks very 2005 and it should have been an sds job and i'm so glad that a lot of you guys agreed with me but unfortunately some simmers felt that the word urban mixed with the dashiki was kind of being a little insensitive and Ebonix actually said y'all my first piece of custom content for the sims was the dashiki and now I've been able to make it a part of the game forever and as you guys can see this was one of her very first pieces of content and Ebonix was one of the first CC creators to ever do it when it comes down to diversity and expanding on that. The sims team actually backed her up with this entire tweet and we are actually going to get into Ebonix tweets because she was quick to shut down all those rumors and backlash that she was facing and Ebonics actually tweeted out hi friends so this was the name that I chose so I wouldn't come down on the team so hard the kit name was inspired by urban chic culture highlighting vibrancy innovation and diversity that culture brings to the city life and fashion trends I was fortunate to add two key pieces a head wrap and a dashiki because they are super meaningful to me personally hence why sims is adorned to it but I can see why it would leave a bad taste for some she did continue on to say there was no ill intent behind the name and definitely isn't a reflection of the sims team design to accurately represent us i take responsibility for it and hope that you're still able to enjoy the kit with all the options i've created with love she does continue on to say no it's okay yours and everyone's feelings are totally valid and without context there was a lot of room for misinterpretation i am not above criticism either so this is an important takeaway for me i just hope y'all know that anything i put onto this world is done to celebrate and honor and uplift us and give us the positive positive visibility we struggle to have in gaming and of course this is the you know if you y'all seen the background the dashiki so you guys let me know how you guys all feel about that and of course people are talking about the party's essentials kit because y'all it is really really bad i even did a poll on twitter and asked you guys should this have been a refresh to the luxury party stuff pack and a lot of people said yes because it's just not worth it a lot of people are even comparing it to the luxury party which i already did and i am so glad that i am not alone on this because usually sometimes my unpopular opinions be a little bit too unpopular and i get a lot of backlash but okay 
said, we are also going to get into some speculation regarding theories. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of simmers think that we're going to get theories. And it's really because, guys, okay, look. So if you look at the Urban Homage kit, you see this shirt, right? It's like, oh, we got a cute little butterfly. You know, it's giving early 2000s. Okay, I understand that. But then if you look again on the Party Essentials kit, there's another butterfly. What are the odds? And we do know The Sims has actually tweeted out fairies, horses, cars. Oh, my. We did get horses. And now the constant, you know, just they just keep dropping hints with fairies and i truly think that it's possible again this thing shout out to um whiny brit i love her channel she actually did a mod review on how to play with fully functional fairies with this mod and as you guys can see y'all the fairies the fairies the fairies the fairies we know it's possible we know it's there we know you could do it so again this is what the sims team could be have working on later on this year we might get it in the winter i would love to know your thoughts and opinions and what you guys think and we are going to get into some patch notes that the sims actually tweeted out yesterday saying that we have a laundry list of the top reported community concerns of course they always drop answers hq which is so freaking annoying but we do have a couple of different things that they're trying to work on that they said that is going to be coming next week such as the drew collector um and the feed and massage time stamps power on sims lot is shut off you know the max rent valued is lowered honestly things that should have been fixed in the game before it actually even came out as usual i always think their patch notes are a little bit like um who's a part of your quality control team but people are very quick to respond back to, to the sims team because of all the backlash they've been facing and of course the sims direct said you know share your top concerns we hope to resolve this next patch you know blah 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 yada 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 they they always point to the answers hq and the sims you know simmers were not here for and they said what planet are you on they are not the top reported concerns at all not even close and the sims direct actually replied saying these are the top reported concerns that the upcoming patch this month aims to resolve there are far more being worked on and require an extended investigation or further information again a lot of simmers are so sick of them telling you to go to answers hq and another simmer said extended investigation how long have you been investigating plants turning into dirt piles for there's tons of more important issues from a long time ago that have never been fixed people still get their safes corrupted get your priorities straight and not playing till that happens now the sims team quickly stopped responding back to simmers after that whole fiasco and this image has been popping up a lot you know popular now top 10 and the current issues again so people are saying popular now towers are receiving you know top-notch traits on aging up jumpy animations high school prom not taking place these are the concerns that i actually have too because a lot of this stuff is true and, and then these are the current issues that are going on and uh, y'all i just don't know what they're going to do with the situation again there is so much that needs to be fixed within the game it's just becoming a little bit like it, it's like who is a part of this quality control team i'm sick and tired of saying it but on to the very next topic where a shout out to a simmer who actually subscribed to me saying the sun drop sims is a distraction and if you look guys ea is raising prices of the ea play subscription now the reason this is a big deal is because the si e oh my gosh the sims team ea they always do sneaky stuff like this and they, it has not been said if nobody has been saying anything but if you go to reddit there's a lot of people already talking about it because everybody's like what is this why haven't they made any announcements at all whatsoever and we do know that ea has a very shady tactic when it comes down to how they you know just announce everything so we already have a history of ea you know making things subscription based when it came down to sims content and we know the sleep oh sleepover sleep work kit where you had to actually be a part of some sub, sub like a subscription base to receive this and a lot of people felt that this was so minor that it could have been an sdx drop which i completely agree so again i would love to know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments regarding this because do y'all think that ea is actually going to talk about the fact that it's everything's being raised and the prices and this is very much speculation but i could be overthinking here i just feel like just because they're making everyone have the ea app that they're eventually going to make something subscription based which could possibly be project renee would love to know your opinions down below in the comments but if you guys total everything with the two new kits that we're going to be receiving very soon which is next week how do y'all feel because the, the roadmap will be coming to an end and it will be done i would love to know your thoughts and opinions and of course guys with all that being said i want to thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did enjoy this video or learn something new please give it a thumbs up because it truly does help out my channel i also want to mention really quick that this that sim group nova she actually tweeted something saying that she was very excited about you know redacted but because she didn't mention the two new kids i don't think she was actually talking about what is going on right now and 
again this could be the next roadmap so this could be dropping some hints and i don't know what do y'all think about this well with all that being said we are on the road to 30k i appreciate you guys so much i am trying to get back into my consistency game again i'm trying to post every other day so y'all just you know just give me just, just give me you know give me i'm trying i'm trying i really am i always towards the end get a little bit more you know vulnerable with you guys because then i feel like okay the sim news is done now let's actually talk so i can catch you guys up on my life but y'all we are I'm, I'm so i'm just so grateful i'm so grateful for each and every one of you and i thank you guys so much for just being a part of my community again i'm keep, i keep mentioning the stream and i and i want to keep mentioning the streams that are, that's going to be coming soon because i want to hold myself accountable with that all being said thank you so much for watching and i appreciate every single one of you and whether you're a silent viewer you share my videos or you comment on my videos at the end of the day you still supported me in some shape shape way or form and for that i thank you i'll see y'all on the next video bye